Hey there guys, it's Rick Houston here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. We're back again with our Western Airguns Rattler. This is in 30 caliber. Today we're shooting 80 grain slugs at 50 and hopefully 100 yards. Stay with us. Okay, so before we get started, definitely want to remind you guys that we have a Patreon channel. We also have the Officers Club over at ErgonArmy.com. If you want to help us out, that's myself and Angie. You want to help us do some things that are outside our normal sponsorship, acquire product, maybe take some trips, do some hunts, that kind of stuff to bring some cool footage to you guys. Well, you can help us out simply by joining up. It's not very expensive. And in return, you get some cool stuff. You're going to get some ads-free early access stuff. And you're also going to get some exclusive footage and articles and other stuff that we're going to be releasing just for uh, folks that are part of those programs. Links will be in the video description. Today's video is brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona, and we just did a video with this, like actually, it was about half an hour ago, <laughs> and we were testing some 80 grain slugs. I've been wanting to find a slug that worked in this gun, and I think we found it. Uh, we have an 80 grain flat point. Um, yeah, this thing is beastly. We're pushing anywhere between 60, uh, excuse me, 160 to 175 foot-pounds, depending on where we are in the shot curve. Now, pushing this much power, we get not quite a whole mag. I mean, I'll shoot all 17 rounds, but yeah, by the time we get to shot 15, 16, 17, we're starting to fall off the reg, so that's why we had a little bit of drop in our power. But for the most part, this thing's pushing 170, 170 foot-pounds, which is absolutely crushing it for a 30 caliber. What are we doing today? Well, we're set up at 50 yards. I want to see how this does group-wise at 50. And then I want to go ahead and just stretch it. Um, it's a beautiful day. We got a little bit of a breeze. Uh, nice that we got a little overcast now, so that's going to be a little bit easier for us. But yeah, a little bit of a breeze, but it shouldn't bother us. Not shooting slugs, not shooting them this fast, and not shooting them this heavy. We should be okay. Um, I want to shoot steel targets today after I get see how we're doing on paper. I got my steel, steel plates at 50, 75, and 100, and I'm curious how this thing's going to do. Um, yeah. I don't know. You're going to find out right along with me. I have not shot this with these slugs at those ranges, so I'm going to find out right along with you guys. So I hope you guys like that kind of coverage, like that kind of uh, content, and that kind of footage. That's what we're going to do. I like doing it. Hope you guys like it too. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we got to do is load our mag. We have done a bunch of videos on this gun, guys. Um, I don't know if maybe we could do a playlist. I'll talk to my sister. Maybe we can do a a playlist for this because I don't know how many videos we've got five six I don't know a bunch we've done everything from testing pellets um, trying to dial in velocity I think I started working with this back in February March ish so I've had this for several months and um, as far as I know I don't think this is going to go anywhere I missed that tank um, I had to go all the way around I missed one of the one of the holes uh, I don't think this is going anywhere, so I think we're going to be able to just continue right along with this and just keep using it, keep testing it, keep playing with it to see just what we can get over time. Um, the thing has operated pretty much flawlessly. I haven't had a stitch of problems with it. Uh, I did try and shoot it full auto. Personally, not in my bag. Um, I did not realize it would, it would take the trigger pull to really uncomfortable, and then I just don't like it full auto. Um, I like it a lot in semi-auto. The trigger's great. Super light first stage, really long, but super light um, first stage, super, super light analog first stage, and a really repeatable, decent second stage. So, um, yeah, I, I like the way that it shoots in semi-auto. It's got some really cool features. It's hammerless. It's got power adjuster here. I haven't touched the power since our last video, so we're sitting on uh, 40 turns out of the... Um, of the power wheel and that was like we didn't quite get a thousand foot per second but we came pretty close and when you're pushing 80 grain slugs at close to a thousand feet per second she's zinging them um okay i'm gonna try really hard to do my part and not let this thing push me around i got a bit of a recoil on the gun pushing those 80 grain slugs so we'll see if i can do my part here we are 
at 50, I have not adjusted the scope from 30, so let's see where we're hitting. We'll just take a shot. I may just use mill dots. I don't know. We'll see. First shot here. Make sure we're good to go. Semi. Yep. All right. Here we go, guys. First shot. Excuse me. Here we go, guys. First shot, 50 yards, slugs. Top cider. High left. I don't have to cock it. I went to cock the gun. That's funny. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust. I'm gonna come down and to the right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bottom cider. Too far. Top target, center column. And slow down, Rick. Okay. Uh, definitely gets us in the ballpark. I probably come a little bit right, and, and we're going to call it. Um, maybe a click up too. Okay, so I think that's going to do it. Um, those last shots, um, I got three in the black uh, ish, four in the black. Clipped it. Okay, I think that's going to be close enough, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up because. I want to be like fully on the reg when we start shooting steel. So I'm going to fill this up while that's going. I'm going to get the camera moved uh, and we'll start. I can't shoot my bullfrog targets because I'll tear them up with this thing as hard as this is hitting. But we're going ahead and shift to steel targets and we'll do 50, 75, and 100. And we'll do five shots each, each and then see where she's landing. And that will be it for this video. Um, I did mention that I was going to pull the barrel and clean it, but as good as this thing was shooting, and since we're shooting slugs still, I decided not to. Uh, we will do the video before we switch back to pellets, because I want to show you guys the super heavy pellets, which we're shooting really well. Um, I want to go ahead and clean the barrel, and then we'll have to dial, dial in the power for those. That'd be kind of a video. Um, we'll clean the barrel. That'll be a video. Uh, well, I, can, I pretty much know where the power needs to be. I won't bore you guys with that. But once I get that, I'll tell you what it is, and then we'll shoot those two, those two pellets. We'll shoot those out to 100 yards too. But for right now, I'm gonna go fill this up, or get this topped off, and then I'm gonna move the camera, and we're gonna start shooting 50, 75, and 100 yards. Be right back. Dead center, 50 yards. Let's see what she's got. One, that hits hard. <laughs> well, that slows down a bit. <laughs> um, why do I like shooting steel targets? Well, they actually kind of give me some feedback. You know, they, I can hear the, the slug hit or the pellet hit. I can see it. That's AR-500 steel. I can shoot that with my AR. It's not going to hurt it. So that's not thin stuff. That's the heavy stuff. Um, and it certainly can take a hit. Next shot. On dead center. Slow, slow down a little bit. We do have a bit of a breeze. Not too bad though. All right, here we go. Dead center. Okay. Last shot. Okay. Um. Obviously, the target's moving, right? So it makes it a little tough to try and shoot for accuracy. Um, but we definitely hit the son of a gun, and we hit it hard. And we have a bunch of shots that are, you know, in, in the various, in the right space. If I was hunting something at 50 yards, 
it would absolutely be done for. Let's go ahead and move our camera to 75 and see how it does there. And then we'll finish out at 100, be right back. 75 yards. Now, I was a full mill over. Well, that was before I adjusted the scope. All right, so what I'm gonna do, since we have 12 shots left, I'm gonna take one shot at the top of the target and see where, my, where it hits. And then I'm gonna try and put the rest of my shots there. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. We are at 75 yards. I'm aiming for the top of the target. Maybe, maybe an inch under the, under the edge. That puts, puts me half a mil pretty much dead center. Okay, it's about a quarter mil. I'm just gonna keep that hold. Let's see where it creeps. Okay, sort of getting a little wild at 75, aren't we? I mean, we kept them all on the plate. Definitely getting a little wild. Okay, so that all sort of landed uh, in sort of, let's see if I'm looking outside here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure we're gonna hit at 100. We'll give it, we'll give it a whirl. Okay, that's 75. Let's go ahead and move the camera and we're gonna wrap this up. Got a little wild at 75 for sure. 50 yards? Yeah, I think we do all right at 50 yards. We're hunting at 50, no problem. If we were hunting like deer, if you can, this is a little light for deer maybe. Maybe not best for deer. Maybe pigs, hogs. 75 yards, still a long shot. I don't like shooting with air guns past 50 when I'm hunting bigger game, so. Yeah, let's just see what it can do. It certainly has a velocity to get there to hurry. So let's move the camera and then we'll talk about ethics later. <laughs> let's just go shoot some steel. I am going to aim with the half mil at the top of the target. I am guessing it's gonna be about a mil low. And that would put the, ha that would put the full mil dead center. So let's see what we got here. And I should just stop right there. <laughs> should we just call it a day and just say, uh, yeah, if that was a coyote at 100 yards, she'd be toast. Um, oh man, I hate to take another shot. That was beautiful. Let's, here we go. Holy crap. Oh, come on. All right, we're gonna stop. Oh, man. Okay, remember when I said if it doesn't shoot well up close, it ain't gonna get any better the further you, further you go. That is true, but it doesn't mean that you can't have a bad group <laughs> up close and shoot better out far. Um, yeah, uh, that's four shots that were what, like that? Um, makes me wanna come back and maybe play with this at 75 yards with something that doesn't move around so much because I wonder with that target swinging, how much that gave me a fit. And I still, and I'm wondering with the target swinging at 100, anyway, Besides that, uh, 100 yards, I will absolutely take it. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, it took me a while to sort of warm up to this gun. I think it was because it just takes a little bit to learn it. It's got so much that it can do, from pellets to slugs to the Hades, which are like <laughs> freaking awesome uh, hunting rounds. All of those things, they, they, they work if you find the right one and you find the right power setting 
and that does take a little bit of time to sort of dial things in and get used to the gun. It also means you gotta you gotta spend some trigger time because um, those 80 grain slugs tend to push a little bit, and so slowing down, calming down, taking my time. Obviously, I'm learning. Uh, the more trigger time I have with these slugs, I think I can get pretty daggum consistent. Um, seeing what we got at 100 yards just is imp impresses the heck out of me. So guys, that's going to be it for now. I mean, our next video, we'll clean the barrel, we'll switch back to pellets, we'll do some more with that, and then who knows what we're going to do next. But like I said, this has uh, been a lot of fun. I don't anticipate this going anywhere. So if there's something you'd like to see me do with this gun, uh, make some notes in the comments and we'll see if we can get it worked in. Um, but it's an awesome, awesome air gun. I've really enjoyed shooting it. Now that I understand it, I really enjoy shooting it. I want to say thank you to Air Guns of Arizona for sponsoring uh, Air Gun Web, uh, sending out this gun, for helping us do what we do. If you guys want to check out their stuff, links will be in the video description. I want to say thank you to all of our other sponsors. We've got Hawk, which is a great sponsor. And if you want to see all of our sponsors, you can check them out at www.airgunweb.com. If you guys want to help us out directly, you can. Uh, check out our Patreon page and also the Officers Club over at airgunarmy.com. Um, if you guys join that, you get some exclusive stuff, some ads-free, early access stuff. And who knows what else we'll be able to kind of uh, throw in there for, for some fun stuff for you guys to watch. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it. My name is Rick Huser here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.